The Lord be with you. Good day, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and we reflect on the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. The mother of Zebedee's son approached Jesus. Please allow my sons to be seated on your left and in your right when you come into your kingdom. Jesus said, Can they drink the cup that I must drink? James and John said, We can. But Jesus said, You may, but it's not for me to decide who will be seated on my left and on my right. And when the disciples heard this, they were indignant. They were a little bit jealous when they heard this. But Jesus realized what they were thinking, and so he said, The pagans lord it over against one another. But it shouldn't be, in your case, as my disciples. The message is clear. Let us not step on one another. Let us not pull down one another. In any case, we should always support one another. Sometimes, it's disheartening when we realize that those promoting Jesus are pulling down one another. We call ourselves Christians, maybe Catholic or whatever denominations you belong to, but we are all saying we promote Christ, and yet we are pulling down one another. In our churches, we all serve one Christ, but different ministries are competing against one another. Remember this? In following the Lord, there is no small role. In following the Lord, there is no unimportant mission. In following the Lord, there is no competition. In following the Lord, it doesn't matter who reach first and who reach last. In following the Lord, what is more important is knowing the goal and helping one another reach the goal. When we have done our part and exhausted all our efforts, leave it to God. And it doesn't matter who will be on the left or on the right of our Lord Jesus Christ. What matters is we all enter God's kingdom in the end. So today, my dear sisters and brothers, let me remind you, do not be jealous, rather support one another if you truly are followers of Christ. God bless you.